Right. Let's go. Back to Toads. See who's in uh, his house. <laughs> I wonder who'll see Charming. Him Did being Toad say who was there? Jackass. Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy. Oh, to so see that was it. actually in that building well, that we were in. Maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Toad's place, because there's actually wait, something wait, happening listen, here. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? I actually have to make the choice. Prince Lawrence. I'm going to Toad's place, because I don't want Toad to get in trouble. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. I mean, Lawrence might be like dying right now. In which case, oops. But Toad needs and us. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in a day. Is somebody up there? They yeah. are. Uh, I'm not alerting them to our presence. Here. <laughs> Shit. What were they looking for? Where did they go? I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Um, I was just wondering How if I need to look around fixed. before I go out there. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Right? It's damn rude. It's quite high up. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. <laughs> he didn't seem like the reading type, that's for sure. I can't turn to look this way. Nothing else I could look at? Okay. She get told off because uh, she went outside without glamour on again. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Oh, it was a girl. Be nice in there, okay? I will do my best. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. We did. I'm slightly regretting it now. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There was. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Why are you covering it up? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it uh... was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. 
Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. A real weevil? Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Why you covering up, mate? It's very suspicious. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. I ain't buying it. My wolf senses are tingling. <laughs> but you will tell me the truth. Excuse me while I nosy around your apartment. What about this blood? It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You're bleeding. Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. <laughs> the wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Hmm, convenient. It's this guy like Santa, he's up the chimney. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. Uh-huh. What happened? Oh, well, let's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Thought it was your hand. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Well, I'm not buying it, Toad. I'm not buying it one bit. You're a liar. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to <laughs> solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No uh, accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer the you kid. keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Or a lamp? <laughs> Bloody hell, Bigby! What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just 
Tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! Yes, it and did. And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlet. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? You're a bad liar, Toad. You can't keep track of your lies. Is there anything else? Marks. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. <laughs> you heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? <laughs> you can't distract me, Toad. I'm a detective. Uh, why didn't Junior let you? was home. Why didn't he let you? It was the middle of a sodding night, Bigby. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Bigby, come on. Yeah. I'm begging for mercy. I was going to say, I should have said he didn't boy. need spare keys. I was looking lock, forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? Tell me the bloody truth. Toad, these... Stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Out with it. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window. But he pulled me back in. It's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the blouse to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Daddy borrows kid. things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. He stuck it in the chimney. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> Wait. What's that? 
it's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to <laughs> Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Ooh. Uh... Don't make it a dilemma. It is a dilemma. Just open it. Okay. Probably shouldn't, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, is it's it been quite illegal a to open someone's letter in Fable Town? I see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Take care, Toad. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Is that Toad Jr.? Uh, see ya. Alright, to the Prince Lawrence's then. And the hope he's still alive. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the Prince's now? Yes. Lawrence's. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. <laughs> yeah, so I'm wondering what would be different if I did that the other way around. Because the guy we didn't... Maybe it would have been that we wouldn't have seen the person upstairs. So we wouldn't have been like, there was someone there. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to. So let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Yep. Yeah. Just humor me. Um. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. No. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are Trust here on me. official Fable Town business, Hello. and we can be persuasive if necessary, or you can. Okay. So I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I'm not really sure what any of it's going to be for. Oh, it looks like a nice place. Can I go anywhere else? Probably not. Nope. Can I talk to Snow? Nope. <laughs> Is there anything else to see out here? Oh, I'm trying to walk, but I got stuck behind the post box. <laughs> The door is partly open. There's Don't a lot just of blood peep on into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Nope. He's gone. Wherever he was. He's dead. Was that him? So would he have been alive if I'd come here first? Damn. Mr. Bigby's quite a handsome werewolf, isn't he? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, Go so get okay. Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. him. No, no. Is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Big water. Beat, water, kitchen. Uh, where is the kitchen? Kitchen. What's this? Where is it? Did you find it yet? Yeah, coming. Sorry. I was reading that note. It was hard to read. <laughs> it's dark. So, I guess if I'd come here first, he'd probably be alive a bit more than he is right now. And I'd have possibly gotten some more question uh, answers from him than what I'm gonna get. Dad, 
If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Um, who did who this to you? Who did this to you? He's been shot in the head. Like, I'm trying to figure out what this wound is. I should have come here first. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. Figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. Well, they left the weapon behind, so could we not get DNA off of it? Uh... Sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? It yeah. is. I don't know why it's over here. Cause I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? I don't know. I do not know. Can I take the knife? No. What's this? Strange. Hard edge to this pool like Something was here and got moved. The bed. Still a little sticky. I'll open that in a second. I just want to look at some of this other stuff first. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Did he shoot himself though? Because why would he stab himself and shoot himself? Unless he was like super broken about the fact that um, Faith was dead. Did he find out? I should probably examine the body, I suppose. fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. So not the gun that shot him or he's been sat there for a week? Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Pills? What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Okay. Anything else? Bam. That doesn't really help. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else. Here, at least. So that was that bit. We've done that. Can't do anything with that. Let's have a look at this. Son of a... What is this? What 
is that? Suicide day. Start to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. So let's compare it with the writing on the fridge. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Let's see if it's actually his writing. Secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. How often do you need to read encyclopedias? Let's face it. Oh. <laughs> Helps to actually walk through the door. Can I look at this? Play the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Is there anything else? So she left him, if that note is to be believed, and then... Go! <laughs> I wasn't expecting no. that, that made me jump. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. <laughs> okay. Was that a Tweedledum? -er? Hey, stop! Leave me alone! That's definitely a Tweedledum or Tweedledee. Oh crap! I didn't realize what it was wanting me to do there. Hey, Dungeon. Stop it. Stop throwing things at me. Ooh, my heart's still pounding from him popping out that cupboard. Come on, mash the button. I'm not very quick at mashing buttons. Was that a dead body in the floor? Uh, this one. Oh, wait, the thing was shaking on the other one. Damn it. Uh, I think this was the wrong room. He almost gave me the slip. <laughs> yes, he did, because I went the wrong door. I realised the number was shaking just as I did. Uh... Ouch. I missed that. Not graceful. Is he upstairs? Let's go that way. Empty. Did I get that one? Oh, I landed on him! <laughs> that was hey. not well done. <laughs> so is this the guy that was in the apartment? Up, We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Why did you run? Run after you. Yeah. Why <laughs> did you run? <laughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? <laughs> Tell me why you hiding in the closet and about to scare me to I death. Know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. What about the knife? You're looking for the woodsman, right? Was the knife just on the is. floor? My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who is your employer? Uh... Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Is it the blue beard sure guy? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. He's gonna Come punch on. me. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to. No, I'm D. He's dumb. He's dumb. <gasps> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> looked peaceful. I found two. So Dom yep. was at the apartment. Except the other place. In a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. 
Where's the girl? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. So they... Are they just hired goons or are they like PIs? Or... What? Uh, 24 hours. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. Yes, they do. It feels like Can I get we're the always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I don't actually know right now. I know um, it's still early, but I just feel a step D? behind. Uh, it's an uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who. I'm still had like I don't think it was D. For. There's still a lot I, of questions. It keeps giving the option for the blue bone guy, but figure out what he knows. I don't know if there. he's involved yet. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. I don't even know if she was actually a prostitute. I mean, he owed her a hundred for something, so presumably it was, you know. Uh, Thanks I for wish you. there was. <laughs> I'm totally on board with this Sorry. happening. He's way better than uh, Prince Charming. I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. Uh, that's all. And he's not a big fan. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in He's only life. eaten a few people. Far from. Right? So. It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. Well, we'll fix it. Yeah. We believe in you. I don't know. Just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. Yeah. You're telling me change comes from within. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. <laughs> the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should.
Bigby. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Will do. The same goes for you. I will. I'm enjoying this so much. I'm very pleased with the. This was recommended to me. The Trip Trap Bar in the Bronx. Guy. What do you want, Sheriff? Um... I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not sure if that was the right thing to now, do. Okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. You're not a very effective liar. Uh... Um... Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> okay, before we do any of that, I've just realized I haven't looked at my fables for a while, so I want to just see what I've got. Faith, the donkey skin girl. Um, Faith, otherwise known as the donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighboring kingdom. Her life should have been a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning to tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fabletown. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. Who else we got? Prince Lawrence. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow Fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to the government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith let Lawrence to, left Lawrence to try and make it on her own. Now, without his wife as support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. The Tweedles. Hired goons. That answered that question then. Uh, the Tweedle brothers, Dumb and D, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the mundane world without drawing suspicious suspicion. They are inseparable as they are ruthless. So we've only got four more things to find. I don't know if they, they all just seem to kind of unlock as the story goes. So that's helpful. Hey, look, you've got a picture of uh, the old woodsman. Irregular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. <laughs> well, I don't think that's the truth, is it? Whose is that? Someone who left. She doesn't like me. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. Oh, that's the matchbook that I found. Walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Hm. You get a refund? Fuck you. Her word's getting out. Uh, Postal. 
sit down and talk. Half a puff cigarettes. <laughs> Excellent. I probably shouldn't take any, but you know. Damn. Oh, what a shame. Out of money. <laughs> Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. I used to like pickled eggs. I don't know why. It's just something quite nice about it. I haven't had them for years. You guys playing right now? Nah. Oh. Apparently that was all of the options I get. Stools in this place. Only one next to you. But there's only one right next to you. You're gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? I'll have a bourbon. You know what I need. <laughs> Give me a Midas gold. Is that what's you Midas gold? Sure. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. So unfortunately, right. this guy was the guy we met earlier, wasn't it? Um. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Who's in there? Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Hey, bud. How's your axe wound? I didn't want to fight. I just want to ask you if you murdered Donkey Skin Girl. Uh. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Good, because that was tough earlier. Well, Woody. That makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Um, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Is this the guy from earlier? Like tell me that. I can't quite decide. Okay, Griff. I didn't notice that the other guy earlier only had one eye. Like, does it look like him? I'll have to check when I edit it. And see. It's funny. <laughs> Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad one. Well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst mm -hmm. other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. Tonight I finally get up the nerve to do it. There you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? 
Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Oh. Her grandmother. I was like, we talking about. There to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already <laughs> there, lying in the bed. That's amazing. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. And I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Uh... It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Exactly, I'm investigating. Missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking <laughs> right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end. Well, I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Probably shouldn't have done that. That all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Uh -oh. oh, good. What is he? Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Huh? Oops. Uh, this. Hey! Uh, ow! <laughs> Couldn't tell what I was meant to be RDing. hit the guy. <laughs> I made a mistake. Whoa, he nearly squished me. He's a bit bigger than me. Am I gonna have to like wolf out? Ooh, ooh. I, I I pressed that. I did it. Tear of the dude's arm. We're not the big bad wolf. Times are changing and all that. I choose to walk away. Whiskey. Double. Yeah. And I'm de -wolfed. 
Take the drink. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. I was. I just gave my money to Faith, which was now I see pointless because she died. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. That's the kind of treatment you can get and uh... Hey, he started it. If you hit him crap. first! Yeah, but he was being an asshole. Yeah. I didn't have a choice to not hit him. That was my only choice. Okay, I could have let things time out, but... Oh, is this Tweedledum and Tweedledee? Right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Hello, darling. Everybody's running away from me. Oh. Do I? What's the choice here? Is this to attack someone? I don't want to attack someone. I am not. Um... Ah, you said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. I'm not really sure what the option was there. That was like I was going to attack him, so I didn't want to ask you. blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Exactly. I probably should have gone for Tweedled D, but I feel like I'm not done with this guy. Maybe I should have gone for Tweedled D. Or was that Tweedled Lum? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's say I'm the Eggman. Uh oh. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Just yeah. Just play cool. Wait there. Oh no. What's happened? Are these Mondays or are they? Oh, don't tell me. Something's happened to Beauty. Killed snow. Ow! Damn it! But I really liked her. Damn! We had something very special. Would that always happen? Was there a way to avoid that? Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. <sighs> I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Don't say anything. It doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to plunge someone. We can arrange that. I do want to punish someone. Do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Is there a way I could have saved Snow? Jeez. Did I do that? Is that you? Smoke mirrors. So that's happening at Snow Man. I am sad. Ah, 
Did you give Faith your money? Most people did, 46.5%. You tell Be Beauty the truth about beauty. Only 23.1% of people lied and said they hadn't seen her. Where did I decide to go? 56.6% of players went to help Toad before Prince Lawrence. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You did not prevent his death. Oh, so I could have prevented his death if I'd gone there first. Who's your prime suspect? That 20%. This point at her prime. Oh. When it came down to the wire, you and 48% of our uh, people grabbed the woodsman. Oh, okay. That was an awesome first episode. I'm going to have to look to see if Snow dies no matter what, because I'm quite sad about that. I liked her. Damn, but this is really good. I'm loving this so far. So I can't wait to see what, what's going to happen on the next episode. 